Hey everybody, what's up? Stinger here again, and we are in Europa Universalis 4. That's the first for this channel, uh, but I just I just had to share this because this has gotta be the most lucky start in an EU4 game that I ever had. So, so I thought I'd just have to make this video about it, I just have to share it. Just because it's so ridiculously lucky. Um, so, you can see it's 1452, May of 1452, it's like seven and a half years into the game. And I'm playing as England, and I've done some standard starting stuff. I've seen Maine to France, in the Surrender of Maine event, uh, just to avoid the war against them, because... Uh, well, you of course have the War of the Roses coming up and all that, so that would be a bit much to deal with. Uh, and it's a strategy I quite like, so just give the province away, build up your strength, and then go in against France later. It's a strategy that I quite like, so that's what I'm going with. Um, and aside from that, I also uh, vassalized these two little guys here. Um, you know, just to be able to feed them the rest of Ireland later on. So far, so standard. But... <laughs> If we go down here, you might notice that these Castilian troops are blue. And if you know this game, you know what that means. Yeah, that's right. I actually have a PU over him. <laughs> I actually got Castile as a personal union in less than 10 years. Which is so ridiculously lucky. Uh, so what happened is uh, you obviously start with, the, uh, with Portugal as an ally. And I also allied Castile and Austria, and obviously I have, uh, or had, <laughs> I should say, uh, royal marriages with all three of them. And at some point, uh, like five months before the uh, Raw of the Roses started, which was kind of messy timing, but whatever, uh, but like a few months before the Raw of the Roses started, um, the Castilian leader decided to die without an heir. <laughs> And, um, yeah, I did not notice that. I did not notice that he didn't have an heir, and I did not take a look at it, or I didn't l watch out for that, because I did not expect that to happen this early. I, I didn't expect any of that to happen this early. Like, like someone dying without an heir. Um, unless it's something scripted, like, over here for the Austrian part or something, but, you know, not with, Cas not with Castile. That was seriously lucky for me. And the game just decided to give me the PU over Castile and throw me into a succession war with my former ally, Austria. Whoops. <laughs> um, so, yeah, obviously, again, the um, War of the Roses was coming up, so I kind of had to decide which one do I go in against first, but I decided to go in against the Rebels first, against the war of, deal with the War of the Roses, because what was Austria going to do, basically? Uh, Castile was in the beginning um, disloyal because he's still stronger than I am. Um, so so he wasn't gonna help me in the war in, in going in against Austria, but of course he would defend his own land and the war goal was Toledo. Um, right Castilian uh, Castilians? Castile's capital. That that was war goal, obviously. Um, and, and but, of course, it would have been completely stupid for Austria to go in, because he would have gotten wrecked by Portugal and Castile. Um, so the only really option that he had was going for the lands here in the north of France, which he did. He occupied Calais and then went in against Caen, uh, besieged it, but did not manage to occupy it, because by that time I defeated the rebels. Uh, dealt with the War of the Roses, then shipped my people over to Aquitaine, and then uh, just moved in here, occupied Zundgau, and uh, besieged Tyrol, and... Well, that was enough. Uh, keep in mind, I got... I constantly got War, war Score from the War Goal, right? I, I still had that. So, uh, occupying Zundgau and besieging Tyrol was enough to give him exactly one reason for a white piece. And that's what, exactly what I did, just white piercing him. Um, and just like that, I got the PU over Castile. And then I allied Austria again, because why not? <laughs> right? No, no hard feelings. It's all business, nothing personal, right? Um, yeah. Uh, also, Navarra is a vassal of Castile. And, and before I actually got the PU, I noticed Navarra. I kind of forgot about him, because of course, 
there are three countries that can uh, get him as a vassal. That is Castile, Aragon and England. And I kind of forgot about him in the beginning. So when I looked at him, I was like, oh yeah, Castile is already improving relations with him. So there's not really a point in me trying to go in there because Castile will win that race to getting above 190 relations. Uh, so, so I just didn't bother. Uh, but now I basically just got him for free because I got Castile. Uh, which, again, a bit of a lucky thing. I then went in against Granada uh, doing the Reconquista for Castile because that's how it works in this uh, alternate universe <laughs> um, and the problem was he was allied with Tunis but Tunis decided well okay I did not even see that myself yet <laughs> the outcome of this war but Tunis decided to get himself wrecked in a war in an offensive war mind you which is stupid enough um, but because of that he didn't honor the alliance obviously and um, I could go in against Navarra uh, against Navarra against Granada alone Problem was I should have ferried my people over to Spain first because Portugal decided it was a good idea to go in against Granada as well Now that he didn't have any allies anymore uh, So he uh, Portugal actually occupied Granada the capital of Granada, um, And and I occupied the other three provinces, but cleverly enough I decided to wait and in the end Portugal peaced out without taking the province Apparently didn't have enough war score, so yeah, I was able to take that province and then full annex him. Amazing. So yeah, um, let's let's take a look at the diplomatic view. This is yeah, so it's just amazing. Honestly, it's so cool. Um, this was again, this was pure luck, but I just had to share this. Um, yeah. So you can see I also went in against Tyrone here, just to create a land connection with, uh, with my vessel up here. Wh who are you even? I'm not gonna try to pronounce that. Um, anyway, uh, plan for the future is to go in against Scotland. And I will not attack Scotland directly because he's allied to France and I don't want to mess with that. Uh, especially now with because I actually I could do that, but it would then probably be in more intelligent to go in against France directly. We'll see about that. Uh, but the plan is to go in against Ulster, because Ulster is allied with Scotland, and then I can force Scotland to break the alliance and take a peace deal that is significantly less than 50 war score, and that will allow me to go in against him in less than 10 years, which means he will definitely not have the alliance with France. And yeah, that's the plan. Obviously, I'm gonna feed Ireland to my two vessels here and We'll see how things develop from there. I guess uh, maybe I'll make an update about this. Maybe not. I really just wanted to share this uh, crazy start that I had uh, I'm not planning. I don't not really have a plan to um, To make a series or anything out of it, but who knows we'll see about that uh, so yeah uh, also Minecraft and Planko videos are in the works as well, so stay tuned for that and thank you very much for watching. Uh, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and see you next time. Goodbye.